Hello and welcome to this Christmas time video. Today I would like to show you how you can add custom buttons at the top of a work item with custom actions. So in my case if I click on the item we will find Santa Claus. To create your own buttons you will need to install the velocity form extension first on the server. Then you will need to copy the button bar title.vm script into the Polarion slash scripts directory. Before the button can appear, we need to switch to administration and select form configuration. Here you pick the work item type where you want the button to appear and there you add following a line in the form layout. The script attribute contains the link to our button bar title script. So let's have a look at the code itself. The code consists of two main sections. The render button macro, which renders the button, so it contains all the HTML we need to build a button. And it takes some parameters like the text to be displayed in the button, the link which should be opened, the icon to be displayed within the button, a tooltip if you hover over the, uh, over the icon, um, spaces if there are multiple buttons, um, the project in which the link should be opened, and some overlay icon. Typically, you will not need to edit that macro code, only if you want to change the rendering of the button, for example, the color of the button, or maybe some CSS magic that when you hover over it, some nice effects appear. To create a new button, we want to go to the second part of the code. This is where you can find an example for a button, in my case, the Santa Claus example. Just copy and paste the code to create a second button and then just change the parameters as needed. So let's change the icon first. As link, I want to open the coverage report provided by Polarion. The coverage report can be filtered. You can see there is an additional parameter that I can provide. So for example, I can provide the ID of a work item. You can see that at the top in the URL that the ID is passed. Let's copy and paste that link into our code. To make the link different for each work item so that the current work item ID is passed to our report, we need to replace that absolute value here, which we just copy and pasted, with the dynamic work item ID of the currently displayed work item. And that information is available in the work item variable. So we just take the variable and ask it for the ID and add that ID as a parameter here. Then we just add some values to the other fields. All right, let's see if it works. When we open a work item, we can see an additional coverage button. And when we click on the button, a filtered report is opened. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you like the button bar and see you next time.